Hey guys, Kathy Rankin here with your weekly soaps roundup. And well, the kids are back in school, so get your slippers on, kick back on the couch, grab a glass of wine in one hand and a bucket of ice cream in the other, and let's settle in and talk about the shows. First, on The Bold and the Beautiful. Well, Thomas was annoyed that Hope spent their honeymoon talking about Douglas, and who wouldn't be annoyed? I for sure know the audience is at this point. Now, Douglas told Liam that Phoebe was really Beth, and Flo finally told Liam and Wyatt that Douglas was telling the truth. Liam quickly raced to tell Hope their daughter was alive. Coming up, Ridge verbally attacks Flo and Zoe. Now, on Days of Our Lives, Eve destroyed the serum that could restore Jack's memory. What a bummer. Annie promptly fired her as police commissioner and demanded a divorce on top of it. Now, Gabby and Stefan married in order for Gabby to take over Demera after Stefan was ousted. And Nicole, who's really Kristen in that ridiculous mask, had the same idea. However, Gabby was named CEO, and she immediately threw Stefan out of the Demera mansion, which was now her house. And during an intimate moment, this is everyone's worst nightmare, you guys, when Sarah called Rex Eric's name and admitted she had fallen in love with his brother. Ouch! I'm not even gonna touch that one. You can make your own inappropriate jokes. Coming up, Ted is killed. Over on General Hospital, Michael and Sasha enjoyed a vacation in Puerto Rico and ran into Cassandra Pierce, who drugged Sasha's breakfast after learning she was Nina's daughter. Crazy how easy it is to just drug someone these days. Hayden and Jax attended a party at Windermere and were in search of something hidden at the estate, but they didn't find it. And trapped in an elevator during a storm, Neil confided in Alexis that it was the anniversary of his daughter's death and that she took her own life after getting involved in a cult. Nothing like getting stuck in an elevator to make two people bond. And in a plot that makes me think the writers are watching way too many Tom Cruise movies, Shiloh planned to implant Drew's memories he'd forgotten but we're on a flash drive into Jason's brain in order to learn where a Navy SEAL that Drew busted in Afghanistan stashed money they received for selling stolen fuel. Are you following this ridiculousness? Coming up, Shiloh holds Sam hostage. And you guys on The Young and the Restless, Ray ended things with Sharon because of her feelings for Adam. Uh, guess what, Young and the Restless? We, the audience, knew this was coming weeks ago. Give us a little credit. Meanwhile, Billy remained haunted by dreams of Delia and finally sought the help of a therapist, but I was kind of hoping he'd go psycho. It's so much more fun. Now, in other plots, Phil has transferred most of Dark Horse's assets to a Newman Shell company for Nick, but he decided to let the company go and try and figure out who he was. Really, Nick? You pick now to do your soul searching? And Daryl Tulane, Chelsea's dead husband's lawyer, arrived in town and told Chelsea her husband left her $5 million and set up a trust fund for Connor. Well, that's gonna cause an uproar. Coming up, Sharon sleeps with Adam, and who can blame her? He's sexy with a capital S-E-X-Y. And besides that, she sleeps with any available guy or, come to think of it, any non-available guy. So that's all for now, guys. We'll see you next time on the Weekly Soaps Roundup.